Good evening. So, currently, my current situation, so, I had one of the worst panic attacks I've ever had. And so my body has just been, like, in fight or flight foot mode for a minute. And I feel just entirely alert, awake, and I know a hard, hard crash is coming. Um, so I'm trying to calm myself down, be chill. I'm drinking a tea. Just trying to relax. But so, something that you have to keep in mind when you treat people. So the saying, the ones you love most hurt you the most is very true. And probably it hurts because you love them so much. And so, when some regular jerk in the streets were mean to you, you don't really care that much. But with somebody you deeply, deeply care about, and they hurt you all the difference in the world and in my case um, I was abandoned as a child and my parents after they you know abandoned me basically as a child they wanted me to help them in adulthood and for me um, I came into a pretty decent career at a young age you know, decent to me at least, you know, or by my family standard. And so I was taught, I was obligated to take care of my mother. And so I would pay my mother money. And my mother, she went from being this cold-hearted person who gave me the uh, cold shoulder and silent treatment for almost my entire teenage years, and almost entirely ignoring me, like she didn't even remember my name half the time, um, to suddenly she loved me and she cared about me so much and she wanted to check on me all the time, all these things. And when that happened, I was, I was so starved. I just, I wanted to be loved so badly. And especially I wanted my parents' approval more than anything that my mother, I was like, oh my gosh. And so I took care of her. I gave her basically all my money. And um, long story short, I went in a, I was badly assaulted, got a bad concussion, broken ribs, um, long story with that, but besides that, for another day. And when I got back home, my mother, rather than caring for me or anything else or checking on me, her response was, hey, so I know she stopped giving me money. At this time, I've been severely injured. I was not thinking right. Um, I had all the effects of that concussion, like the paranoia, all those things. My brain just wasn't where it should be. And my mother's response wasn't, are you okay? How are you feeling? You need to take care of yourself. It was, where's my fucking money? And then when I told her I don't have any, she said, the only reason I had you was for you to pay my bills. And you failed at that. You are a terrible son. I'm ashamed of you rotten hell go do whatever go kill yourself for all i care because you're not my son and um that hurt so badly for so long for so many years and um basically my relationship with her is um it sounds bad but i haven't talked to her since i was a teenager really and um I don't have a relationship with her. She doesn't have a relationship with me. Um, she does not want me in her life. And I've accepted that. I acknowledge she hates me. And it's just known. And um, I've talked to her for that long. And I was close to my father growing up. And I was close to my father because we had distance. And my I always knew my dad was a jerk. But I thought, well, you know, it's a good masculine trait. It's not always a bad thing to be assertive. Um, My, my dad did the same thing to me. Um, I gave my dad money. The same way I did with my mom. This time as an adult. And I ended up becoming severely ill. I had a business that was very successful. But I managed to get Lyme disease. I could barely function. And so I sold my business. And my father threw me out of his house. He said, because you're a fucking loser, and you won't work a job at Walmart. Yeah, keep in mind, at this time, 
I was really hurting. I had Lyme disease. I was sick. I could barely form a coherent thought. He threw me out of his house. I had a heart attack two weeks later. And I say this to say, I chose to love them despite all of it. I chose to care for them despite all of it. But I finally reached a point in my life where I realized what they did to me was egregiously bad. I forgive them. But I cannot allow them to do that to me ever again. And for that reason, I just, I, I can't let them in my life. And maybe eventually I will, who knows, when I'm in a better place. But, um, the betrayal from that, it's, you can only be betrayed by people like that so many times where it just hurts you. And I realized, for me to have healthy friendships, relationships, girlfriend, wife, whatever it may be, children, I can't have that in my life. And it's been one of the hardest things I've done, but I've separated and I just lived my own life. And it's been difficult because I I miss them, I love them, but they don't love me. But while there's or there's, well, there's strings attached to the love and they call it love. And uh, actions speak louder than words. And they always told me everything I wanted to hear growing up and um, their actions are always opposite. And I say this to say, sometimes to heal, you need space, and we need space. Sometimes you have to realize it doesn't mean you hate the person or anything else, but it does mean you have to realize this person is not good for me. There's a reason I hurt every time I see them. There is a reason I question everything they say. There's a reason my gut just tells me they're lying to me constantly and um, it hurts it really hurts and the biggest thing for me is realizing that not everyone's like that part of me growing is making sure I can acknowledge that I was taught those things from them by watching so I have to make sure I will not replicate those behaviors that's where I have good friends mentors accountability things to help me in my life and my life has been a little bit in shambles but I've been fixing it Despite the illness, despite everything else, with Lyme disease, I'm tenacious and I'm making it happen. And do they support me? No. Don't care if I'm dead or alive. That's all there is to it. Um, but I can sure help a lot of people while I'm here. I can sure live an amazing life. And for me, break away, detach, move away. That's why I moved away from my family. And as much as I love them, they view me as a bank. That's all it is. That's love with strings attached. My parents never loved me for me, and that's all there is to it. But with that, I have to make sure I'll never do that to my children. Because I will have children one day. I will never do that to them. Um, but I hope this can be encouragement that many people we think are fine or many people we think are happy I have gone through a lot more than you think, and it was a constant struggle. But that's part of being a man, being a great human, or being a strong woman, whatever it may be, um, is you gotta suck it up sometimes and make it happen. And grow and learn and love deeply. And live an amazing, beautiful life. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you for watching my channel. I know it's a long video. You're the best of the best as I'm just sitting here on my porch, sipping a tea, and it is delicious and calming. But anyway, I love you. Enjoy your evening. I'll see you shortly. Goodbye.